In today's video on building your food truck, DIY how to build your food truck, it's Frank Baltiers. We're gonna be installing the three compartment sink in any type of mobile food truck to get your health inspection. You need to have that three compartment sink and a hand sink. So we're gonna be installing the three compartment today. So let's get on it. And this right here is gonna be the three compartment sink that's gonna get installed in the new food truck. It's the same one that I have in mind. It's made by Advanced Tapco. In, and it's NSF rated and this right here is one of the main reasons why why I decided to build my own trailer was because of this specific detail remember I told you guys to look up everything in your uh, health department requirements so this is the reason why I did this let me show you all right so on here if you guys see that bullet point it says a three compartment sink with dual integral or integrated drain boards at least 60 inches in length for washing rinsing and sanitizing equipment and utensils is required so what that meant after i emailed them was that i was not allowed to use cabinets because usually in the cabinets if you guys see some of the builders they cut the the sink right there and then this is all cabinet space they don't consider that a drain board so then i purchased this one this is i measured it this is exactly 60 inches from here to there and each drain board is 15 inches in length and that's exactly what DuPage County Health Department approved for me and this is the reason why this is the legs are cut off and it comes with four legs right on the kit there so that's the reason why I decided to build my own food truck was because I had to switch the sinks from the ones that I was gonna buy and I was looking at a lot of them and I was gonna have to switch the plumbing. So I was like, I might as well just build it myself. But this is exactly the three compartment that we're gonna use. Again, 60 inches from here to there, which fits perfectly inside the food truck. These drain boards, 15 inches each side, left and right, made by Advanced Tabco, NSF rated. And like I said, it was $532. That includes shipping. You will probably never find i won't say never it'd be very hard to find free shipping on this one because uh it was like a hundred dollars just to ship this particular one right here i don't know why but anywhere that you look for it there is no free shipping but if you do then you got yourself a good deal 532 dollars is what i paid for this one so let's put the legs on here which go right there and then we're going to put it right next to the tanks just so we have a reference point this is what i have in my current food truck i bought these as undermount sinks under sorry undermount tanks it's a 20 gallon and a 25 gallon and the reason i bought them like this was because um, the other ones were the sizes did not match with my three compartment sink if you guys see my drains there these fit perfect because originally originally i was actually going to put them underneath my my truck my trailer but then uh, in chicago we have some rough winters and I didn't want to put like those heat pads that they have. I did look into those. I didn't really like that option. So I was like, how can I put it inside the food truck that will make sense? So this is what made sense to be able to do right here. So that's a 25 gallon back there. That's a 20 gallon right there. That's exactly what we used in my, we're gonna use in the new, in the new food truck. And I got them from Class A Customs. So let's go check it out on the other one. So here are the two tanks that we're gonna be using on this food truck again. That's a 25 gallon right there. There's a 20 gallon right here that we're gonna put right in that spot over there. And I, I was confused because I had never done plumbing in a food truck before, before I did my original one. So then I had to like look this up, like what do all these holes mean? And hopefully when we install them, it'll all make sense because they all kind of serve a purpose. <laughs> but in the first time that I did it, I was so confused that I wish there was like a video that helped me out. So that's why we're making this video. So try to put it step by step by step on how to do the plumbing, how to install the water heater and everything that goes with it, the water pump. So with that, let's get rocking and rolling. Class A Customs, 20 gallon and a 25 gallon is what I bought because it fits perfect underneath the three compartment sink. So let's get rocking and rolling. Ooh, and don't for, don't forget that these are uh, also important. These are required. They're not required, but that's the only way to get these legs. That we're gonna pull out here. Look at that. That's the only way to get these legs to actually connect to your floor. Yeah, there it is. So you put this right inside, 
and then that's exactly these get screwed to your floor this So there is like no real easy way or a way that I know any better how to cut this. If you guys can see on this, uh, it's right there. It's an inch and a half hole that they have pre-done over at Class A Customs. And what you do is you just drill with the regular drill bit right here. You just drill one by one by one by one by one. And then you end up with something like this. And then what I'm going to take is take my utility knife and just scrape out the sides right there. But that's pretty much what I did. Oh, let me see right here. Look, there is the piece that came out. And like I said, it just goes hole by hole by hole by hole by hole by hole. It's a little tedious <laughs> to be honest. But if that's what it takes to get it done, it is what it is. Because you don't want to mess up the threads right here. Because you're really going to use those. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how my truck is configured with the plumbing. And then we're going to do the exact same thing to this and then when it's right here just make sure you kind of pull it up a little that way this part doesn't fall inside the tank i'm sure you could get it out but why go through all that hassle so i'll have two more to do i have this one and this one here you guys can see the holes right there a little bit better so that's how the plumbing is going on this project right here so let me finish up this and then we're going to take a tour of my food truck and show you guys how i did my plumbing we're going to put these in secure the three compartment and we're done for today just to recap the holes that we're cutting here this is how it's supposed to look right when you clean it out with the utility knife right there this is kind of like the before it's all jagged and then you got some debris down in there in the tank and you just take your utility knife and you just trim the edges right in here we did it to this one right here we're going to clean out the debris that's inside there and then there's this one. We might have to do a, do a little bit better job on this one right there and this one right there. So that's kind of the update on how the four holes are going because the other ones were done with the factory. Why they didn't do these, I really don't know. That's like a mystery. So there you go. So we are back in my food truck and this is the exact same setup we're going to do on the other food truck. This is what I have in mind. And when I first started, I always asked myself, what the heck are all those holes? What do they mean? Uh, the instructions on some of these things are, uh, are not the best, but, but uh, you know, we made it happen. After a lot of Googling and a lot of videos and a bunch of other stuff that I watched, I finally figured it out. This right here is a hose that comes from right outside right there. That's where you put in your water. And then that goes into your fresh water tank. This right here is like a vacuum line. It lets air in from the hose outside that way when you're filling this up it gets you uh, air in there and then this bottom one which is the other inch and a half it goes down to the drain which i'll show you guys how it's in my food truck right now it's on the outside the other one is the exact same thing that's your wastewater or they call it the gray water that has another inch and a half down to the bottom and then the other one if you guys can see i just plugged it up so that one's plugged up and that's pretty much how it works the three compartments get connected together bang 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 and then that goes right into that gray water tank right there along with the hand sink it gets connected right there that right there is like a little valve that doesn't I call it a black back flow preventer i have no idea what it was until i i built the food truck and then now i know what it is but before i had no idea it lets it doesn't let water right back in I want to point out one really, really important thing. Make sure, I'm even flipping the camera to me so you can uh, get the, the message here. Make sure that you buy all these little adapters from where you buy your tanks. The first time around, I was a little bit of, uh, I call it the cheapskate. <laughs> I was like, I'll just find these at Home Depot, but it's so much easier to buy them 
from where you buy your tanks. I'm talking about this, the adapters that go down here, and then these little plugs. Make sure you buy those from where you buy your tanks. It'll save you a lot of headaches. So let's go back into the other food truck, but that's kind of the concept that we have there. This is a little kit that they give you at Class A Customs when you buy it. This scallywag right here, I struggled to find. I should have bought it there from the beginning and I didn't. There's an inch and a half uh, to connect the PVC. And then these are the half inches that go there for the vacuum lines. So that's what we have so far. So let's open this bag and let's get started. It's always good practice to put some of this tape on here, plumber's tape, right around the threads on here before you put this on. That's kind of just what I've always done as a safety precaution. So let's put some of this around the threads and then we're gonna put it right in here. And this right here is what I have to discharge both my tanks. You just hook up a hose right in here, half inch hose, and then same thing right in there. That is a really, really cool option that I found. And then you guys can see that that's how my tubes come down, my one and a half inch PVC. Just to give you guys an option on discharge um, capabilities and what you can do with them. All right, you guys ready to see this? This is a new installation of the three compartment sink. We finished it up, we buttoned it up to the wall, making sure that when you're driving down the road uh, and you're hitting all those bumps and everything like that, this thing stays in one place and you don't come back here and you get a surprise where it just like toppled over or something. So make sure you secure it to your wall, but uh, it looks really, really nice. So if you're looking at a three compartment sink, this is a nice option to have if you need drain boards on each side. Like I said, 15 inch drain boards right and left, 60 inches from left to right. That's what DuPage County Health Department required. What I really like about the setup is that the tanks are inside because out here in Chicago, whoo, it gets cold in winter. And if you leave some water in there, uh, water freezes and uh, the water will always win. It'll find a way out and it'll crack those plastic things. I have not had that happened to me yet um, so that's why I like that these are inside uh, the faucet the three compartment sinks do not come with faucets so you have to buy that separate that was about $57 again this was $523 the tanks were about 120 for both and I picked those up class A customs in Elkhart Indiana It'd be nice if Elkhart Indiana threw us some affiliate links and uh, we recommend their products but they are a great company in Elkhart, Indiana, they make a bunch of these tanks if you're looking for different sizes. These are undermount 20 gallon and 25 gallon. Let's take another peek at it and then we're out of here for today. There it is right there. That is your three compartment sink setup. If you have any questions, please let me know. Again, Frank Paul here is with the DIY series, how to build your food truck. Again, advanced tab co, 60 inch, three compartment sink. This is the second one that I've purchased excellent excellent quality and then we're done